What is up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and on this channel I'll talk about cybersecurity. In this video, I'm going to be covering the top three soft skills you need in order to succeed in cybersecurity. In cybersecurity, there are different skills required in order for you to succeed at your job function or in order for you to even break into the field. And some of these skills are usually hard skills like knowing about operating systems or knowing about programming languages or knowing how to use sims or knowing how to use pen testing tools depending on whatever your job is there are different kind of hard skills requirements that are usually required for you to, in order to get a job however a lot of times people do not usually talk about the soft skills that are required to get a job or to keep a job or for um, good career progress and in this video I'm going to be covering the top skills and Make sure you stay to the end of the video because the third skill I'm going to be covering is one that people do not talk about a lot. And so with that said, let's get into the video. Now, the very first most important top soft skill you need in order to succeed in cybersecurity is communication. And communication is pretty much the root of everything you're going to be doing in all of your day-to-day -day tasks, either while you're analyzing a uh, an alert or responding to an incident, whatever you're doing, there's some form of communication going on and you might be communicating with fellow analysts or fellow cybersecurity professionals. You might be communicating with upper level management, so it would be with your manager or like director or even C-level executives. You might be communicating with other employees from other departments, maybe like people from the networking team or the system administration team or from the cloud team or infrastructure team. So you're gonna be having to communicate to different kinds of people. You could also be communicating to end users depending on the kind of organization you find yourself in or communicating with customers. So being able to understand the right way to communicate to these different kinds of people whenever you find yourself in those communication situations is gonna be important because these different kinds of people require different levels of communication or different levels of technicality in your communication with them. For example, the way you would communicate with your fellow analyst, if you're a security analyst, would be completely different from how you would communicate with an end user who might have zero knowledge about cybersecurity or whatever technical thing you're talking about. So being able to talk at the level at which you're communicating with the person at that point in time is going to be important for your success in your cybersecurity career. Now, the second most important soft skill that is required for you to be successful in your cybersecurity career is documentation. And documentation is pretty much the root of so many problems in so many organizations. Without proper documentation, so many things fall apart. For example, if a really, really key engineer or key analyst who was a major part of a project or a major part of a tool or a deployment was to leave the organization and there is no form of documentation about processes or credentials or deployment methods or anal analysis methods that this engineer uses, then this is essentially gonna cause a lot of ripple effects and problems for the organizations moving forward. It's not to say that they might, they won't be able to recover from it, but the fact that this person had this much knowledge or so much understanding of the environment, but had no documentation to help other people who are gonna be there longer or who uh, might be having to do work with that particular tool, then that definitely would cause problems and they would have to find a way to fix that problem that later on in the future. And in order for you to avoid that, you just by having the right documentation for processes, for deployments, for analysis methods, it's gonna help. And it's also gonna help with when you're onboarding new employees, so like new analysts or new engineers or even for the purpose of auditing or like for senior management, having documentation in place that is going to show like your processes and different things based on whatever use case you have, uh, you need for documentation is going to help you out a lot. And also, um, if you're the one who is doing this documentation, it's gonna help you stand out and also give you success in your cybersecurity career. Moving forward, the third most important soft skill that is important in your cybersecurity career is empathy. And this is one that I realize is not really talked about much, especially in the cybersecurity space. And this empathy applies to different things. And one of the ways it applies is towards um, end users or towards users in general. So most of the times in cybersecurity, when a user does something like click a phishing link or 
download a malicious file or put in their credentials in a credential lab harvesting website. A lot of times I realize that as cybersecurity professionals, we kind of default to making fun of the users or kind of demeaning the users in different ways, whether intentionally or unintentionally. And it kind of makes us look like, oh, we're some elite kind of people that have this knowledge of cybersecurity so we know what's right and people who are doing what's wrong the end users who are doing what's wrong are dumb or you know just like to do anything just like to do things wrong and this is not always the case the fact is we as cybersecurity professionals we have knowledge of these things um, that other people do not have knowledge of so these end users they have knowledge of what um, of what whatever their job functions are so for example someone who works in the accounting department of obviously is going to know more about accounting than we who work in the cybersecurity department and someone who works in the marketing department or in the HR department is obviously going to know more about that domain than we do so if we were to make a mistake about something in, in their domain then it would be because we lack knowledge of it so in cases where users or um, other employees in the organization do certain things that you know are not um, cybersecurity ethical and maybe like put in uh, downloading malicious files or clicking malicious links in emails as cybersecurity professionals i think it's important for us to have empathy to understand that these individuals are not do not have the same knowledge as we do and these individuals are not going are not going to understand certain things the way we do so having that empathy is going to be really important especially with communicating with these users if there happens to be an incident and this also leads me into the second part of empathy so um this um this is going to be aligned to people who are more in the incident response or security or threat analyst or suck analyst kind of uh Position. There are going to be situations where you're definitely going to find yourself in incidents, right? Bad things happen all the time. So being able to have the right emotional intelligence and empathy in that situation in order for you to properly communicate, which leads us back to the first point. So having the right emotional intelligence and um, being uh, empathetic and also knowing how to communicate properly in stressful situations is also going to be really important and it also will guarantee your success and your growth in your cybersecurity career. So these are my three top soft skills I think are really, really going to be important for anyone who wants to progress in their cybersecurity career. Um, once again, documentation, communication, and empathy. And I hope you start applying these different soft skills in your later cybersecurity roles. And I hope that these soft skills help you become better as a cybersecurity professional beyond just the hard skills that you have. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe and leave a like. Um, and also be sure to share this video with anyone who you think it will provide value. Thank you very much for watching this video once again. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.